I say everyone, welcome back to another episode here on Destiny's Tarot. So today's reading is going to be a collective reading for the collective. I hope this reading finds you guys with the energy, good vibes, good health. Thank you all so much for the love and support. Welcome to all of my new subscribers, returning subscribers, and cross watchers. Welcome back, guys, to another reading. If at the ending of this reading you do find clarity, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Also, guys, if you wanted a personal reading, I am available. You can find my email in the description box in any video. So guys, on my downtime, you know, I like to read. I like to educate myself on new things. I like to learn new things. And that's exactly what I have been doing. So I'm coming on today to share with my collective what exactly I learned while away. I hope this reading is reaching you guys to get energy, good vibes, good health. All right, the ending of this reading, you have the clarity that you need to be in good energy. Thank you all for even taking the time out to do this reading. I really appreciate it. All right, so we're going to be talking about the goddess Kali Ma, better known as the Black Goddess. Kalima represents both good and evil. She can be destructive and benevolent. Kalima is the goddess of time, change, and destruction. Kalima is often associated with sexuality, violence. Kali is also associated with being a strong mother figure. The name Kali means the black one. Time the Divine Mother. So guys, I, did, I had no idea that this goddess existed. Um, I had no idea what she represents. I did do a little more digging and reading. And I just want to say like with this goddess Kalima, you guys may be like, what do you mean like she represents good and evil? It's like... When she comes into a situation, if she chooses to step into a situation, because I'm not sure you can summon this type of energy because she plays both sides. Um, This is just like that's where I probably was picking up on that two faced energy from because this is this is her energy. But because she plays both sides, it's like. She comes into a situation and, you know, views the situation and basically goes, goes off of, you know, what she has seen and, and what she has understood about the situation. And then that's when you'll get whatever reaction you get from her. Now, I did say that. I don't know if she can be summoned. I feel like she possibly can be, but at the same time, she still has to make a decision on what she is going to do and how she's going to move about in the situation. Now, we were doing these readings and there's been a lot of female energy in these readings and these females are karmics. So, um, and I feel like I read majority for females, um, especially the older crowd. As you know, I do go and I look into things like that. My watch history, who's really viewing my readings, young and old. I do have some men, but mostly women. So 
I'm not surprised that we are picking up on this Kali Ma energy, this goddess. So I just wanted to let my collective know before we jump into the messages for today on what I was doing on my downtime and what I discovered. Okay, so we have more of this Three of Swords um, third party and or X energy coming out. For a lot of you, you've realized that, you know, somebody is not your divine counterpart. Somebody is not your soulmate. We've also been talking about the number three a lot, this group energy. I do feel like you are aware now or you're going to be aware that your person is a karmic. This is not your soulmate. This is not somebody who you are going to be for the rest of your life, who, are, who you are supposed to even be with right now. But we need to take every situation as a lesson and learn from it because it's not all this person's fault why they have so much access to you or why they had access to you, period, guys. You know, like, go back and look at how you met this individual. Go back and look at where you let your guard down in the situation and take accountability and responsibility, of course. And along with that, guys, take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Of course, and apply the roles how they fit. That's just most dominant energy. So we have the Empress in the reverse as the first card out, most dominant energy. We also have the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse, the Ten of Swords in the reverse. So there are two karmics out here, same two karmics that come out that recently we recently just spoke about. Um, I do feel like there's another one missing, which will possibly come out in a later reading. But we have talked about the Nine of Pentacles and the Empress in the Reverse, these women that are karmics that come out in the readings all the time. Um, these women could have just recently gotten some type of new beginning from your person new offer um that your person could have brought you know them some energy recently um this karmic male that is refusing to release your energy yeah but with the ten of swords coming out in the reverse i feel like it wasn't fulfilling something was different Two of Pentacles, Page of Pentacles. Someone could lose a job, lose some type of money because of the juggling, because of who they are trying to juggle and put into um, a foursome, threesome, put into a love triangle, period. Someone is stalking and watching you guys. Could possibly th be through, as I said, that my right eye itched and basically like um, I had to close my eye for a second. But yeah, um, this person could be sending you the evil eye, return to sender. Page of Wands energy. Yeah, be careful with that. They could be watching through divination or they could be watching through scrying. Or they're upset about a video or a picture you posted. Something about online. Two of Cups came out crossing. What else is here? We have the Magician. So this person is, is, they're stalking and watching to see if whatever they just recently manifested or tried to manifest has came into fruition in your life. 
secrets are out about these bad manifestations. They're very, these two karmics here are very stressed out about a marriage. About this hair font energy. Here we are. Here she is. The queen of wands in the reverse. So there are three karmic women out here as of right now. Um, I get uh, Aries or a Leo with this dominant energy. Um, with this queen of wands in the reverse controlling energy i also get with the empress in the reverse this is giving me an older energy with this nine of pentacles in the reverse capricorn or virgo energy let's continue though so yeah this queen of wands in the reverse possibly recently just thought that they could be the one out of everyone else to close out a cycle or maybe they're working overtime to make sure a cycle does not close out because the world is here in the reverse. It could be either or, though. This person is under a lot of karma at this time. This Queen of Wands in the reverse energy. They just recently tried to place an illusion or a spell over someone. Or they're really, really, they've really been busy trying to figure out how they can do this, which is why they're facing judgment. One more as the Someone with the four of wands in the reverse, someone's trying to gain control over uh, your person to get them to get you out of a home. Maybe they want this person to go down to the courthouse and get you evicted out of a home, take you to court so that you, you can lose a home. Okay, they're trying to control that situation. They want you out of a home. These, I feel like one, two, three, all three of these karmics out here. They have an issue with you being in a home. That's like one of the things that is being manifested at this time. We have the nine of wands upright. A never-ending cycle. So these three comics, they, they want you guys to stay in a never-ending cycle. And also this masculine. You're being used for your energy. You're being used for your knowledge, your gifts. And that's it. As the divine feminine in the situation, as the empress upright energy, that is it. You're not, you're not loved. You're not cared about. You're not really wanted. You have energy that these three karmics can't provide. They can provide everything else. A good time. Drama. Gossip. Everything toxic. But when it comes to cleansiness, pureness. Pure energy. Innocence. They cannot provide that. For this narcissist masculine. You are just supplied like all three of these karmics are. Don't get me wrong. But you're just a better, a better brand of supply than these karmics. They walk in low vibrational devil energy. These are also monitoring spirits. They, once this masculine steps into these women, these karmic women energy, when they leave from around these karmic women, they bring back that negative energy towards you. Okay. And that's another thing. Like I said, with the energy thing, these karmics love the energy that this masculine brings them, that they take from you, especially sexually. When this person has sex with you, they take energy from you. They cipher off of your energy and they take it back to these karmics here. This is like a, a cult, a group, something that this person has binded themselves to. They got stuck in. They cannot get out of. That's it. They're stuck. These women are going to drain this masculine um, of finances, emotions, and everything else. The only thing that is like pure and the only energy that is keeping this situation alive is you guys' energy. All right. So they're doing, they're uh, putting curses or trying to set curses on your, uh, soulmate lovers connection so that it'll never come into fruition or that it ends and stays ended 
with this five of pentacles here like i said they want you to be in despair emotionally and also out homeless living in the cold living living just in the streets all right yeah they want this for the empress upright energy for the for you could be pregnant or you could just be birthing new ideas if not both okay they could also did death magic that backfired or didn't work but they're they're not done yet. They're going to constantly keep trying to do this because they want you to stay in this never-ending cycle. Nine of Wands. They want this to be a never-ending cycle, including this masculine, that you, this narcissistic person that you're dating. They need you for energy. But at the same time, they want to control how they get the energy from you and what you do with your life. Clarify the Empress in reverse. I also feel like these people thought the power of three. Like, I, I'm, I'm hearing the power of three. They thought by clicking up, grouping up, it could be like 10 people here. They thought by doing this that it will work. It'll work, but it only works against other karmics like themselves. It does not work against a divine person. If you read the Bible, it says how many habitum, how many of thousands of people can be on the right and how many, how many of thousands of people can be on the, the left. And they still, can't, they still can't conquer a divine being, somebody that does the work, um, a white witch, the work of God. Somebody that is doing honest, pure work. Somebody that is not of the dark, but of the light. You cannot. It's, they don't, it's not going to work against that type of person. These are people who are not educated. They don't take care of themselves. They don't try to educate themselves. They put a lot of energy into stealing from people. They put a lot of energy in trying to be other people. They don't have no self sense of awareness. Nothing. like this. These women are not nurturing at all. But they will click up together to have foursomes and threesomes and exchange spit and all type of other things that they exchange amongst each other. That's about it. Let's, let's continue. The Empress reverse. Why is this here? We have the Ace of Wands upright. So this person thought they had some type of success. With something here, this Empress in the reverse, but with the Eight of Pentacles coming out right behind that and the Death here in the reverse, it, it didn't work. Whatever they thought they had success in, oh, okay, because the Three of Cups is in the reverse. And it's because you're still in this Empress upright energy. You're still in your energy. You still know yourself. Well, the Fortune is here. This definitely failed. They could have gotten some news that this failed. It didn't work. But they celebrate it too soon. I also feel like these, these these women like to celebrate off of nothing, just to just to celebrate, like, or they do this ritualistically to to help to try to help with their with the the negative things that they're trying to manifest in your life. Can I find the nine of pentacles in the reverse, please? Nine of pentacles reverse. These people do not like you because you're you and they can't be you. So they dislike you. They click up to attack you, talk about you, attack your children, bring you down. They, they, they do whatever and however. They're, they're becoming extremely obsessed with doing this as well, too. So they don't have any time for themselves or anybody else or to focus on anything else because they're obsessed. Nine of Pentacles reverse. We have the seven of wands reverse. This nine of pentacles in the reverse is very envious and jealous that this person, this masculine, has not released your energy, released this marriage, released this relationship as yet. I also feel like they're annoyed and at the fact that you haven't given up or gave in yet. Okay, this Virgo or this Capricorn. They thought they were weighing you down with some type of bad memories. With the not with the six of cups in reverse, so that's what this nine of pentacles in the reverse has been up to. Yeah, because they 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 know that you know that you're 
emperor who's supposed to be your emperor is really a karmic, really someone that has no control over themselves, a deadbeat, um, really someone that can't run a business. They'll run it right into the ground because they're a karmic. All they focus on is feeding their sexual energy and stealing as well. This, this karmic emperor in the reverse, they know that you know about a love triangle, threesome, sex, start toxicity. You know that this person is unfaithful, basically. Because the emperor in the reverse is also someone that's very unfaithful. They have no control over themselves. They, they, it's like none. Which is why um, all of these karmics are out here. Somebody, I feel like this emperor in the reverse also tried to like gather up a bunch of karmic people that do low vibrational things to come and attack you in hopes that it'll lower your vibration, lower your gifts, um, make you give in, make you quit, like make you feel rejected. It was everything that you could think of negative ten of swords reverse please so this spell backfired that could that could be causing these people to argue and fight amongst each other yeah because you're still in this energy where you're very balanced they could want to argue and fight with you because you're balanced, because you won't lay down and die, because you're still healed. Yeah, because you're getting a blessing. That's the truth. I'm on track. These women they in this karmic masculine, they just want to win. They just want to say, okay, we defeated this person. It's like, that's, that's how obsessed these people are now with doing this. It was supposed to be for laughs and giggles at first, you know, a good, a good, something to keep whatever they were, the threesome going, something for them to talk about when they're around each other because they can't really be in each other's energy because they're all karmics. So, you know, they were feeding off of this. And now that it's like, now it, it, it didn't turn into something where it's like it's not working so it's like we have to keep doing this we got to keep going back to the drawing board we got to keep trying we gotta it, it's now it's just like oh my god like they are very determined to they want you to just lay down and die you know these things these attacks keep failing and they know it they're getting more and more exposed the situation is coming more and more out to light secrets secret secrets that you know you shouldn't know and secrets that no one should know are coming out and and conversations that you wasn't there for you know or you can especially if you're into spirituality tarot that that could also be making them turn on each other like who you've been talking to them and you've been telling them because this masculine is only supposed to bring back negative energy to you and bring back your energy to these karmics for, because they need it they need it. So I don't even want you guys to feel bad. I want you to understand that you need to be happy that you're not of the dark side. That you're not of, you're not of low vibrational energy. Because they need it. They need it. Ace of Pentacles upright. Why is this here person? And if you're really a divine being, then you wouldn't mind helping. But at the same time, they're trying to control your life and ruin your life and do death magic on you and that's where you and I and everybody else draw the line okay so with the ace of pentacles here they feel like some type of manifestations are coming true for you like you're gonna reconcile with this um, karmic masculine I also feel like they know that at some point their manifestations are not gonna work because you're going to have a happy life, a divine counterpart, a soulmate. You guys could be even being introduced to somebody soon. But with this um, magician here, I also feel like somebody was trying their hardest to get this person to release you, this karmic masculine. But like I said, this person is holding on as hard as they possibly can to you. But it's for the wrong reasons. I do feel like this person wants peace. But they, they want peace with the wrong reasons. Like they want peace and they want you to be okay with the fact that they have three people who are three distorted karmics, feminines who are um, attached to them, who bring, who, who monitor their energy, who bring back, who make them bring back all type of negative energy towards you, 
These people walk in devilish energy. They want you to be at peace with that. They want you to be at peace with the fact that they're going to be in and out. They want you to be at, you know what I'm saying, guys? Like, yeah, look, three of swords. They want you to be at peace with the fact that they're going to have you in a, a, a love triangle with low vibrational energy and you're not a low vibrational person. Yeah, they want you to be at peace with the fact that they, they are going to always be in this knight of wands, upright energy, searching and looking for somebody else to stick their dick in. And they also probably want you to be at peace that, with the fact that they lost control of this situation with these karmic women, with the emperor in the reverse. I don't know what made this person feel like they, they was controlling the situation. And now these people are trying to, like, kill you, hurt you, blackmail them. The, the situation has, like, just really gone far. Two of Pentacles upright. Like, they could literally want to fight you. Two of Pentacles upright. They're trying to... Yeah, Ten of Swords in the reverse. I feel like this masculine wants to give you what you deserve. Also, with this Two of Pentacles upright. They could want to take the knobs out of your back. The devil reverse. And that's fine. Yeah, they want to, They want growth. They, they probably want to change. A part of them really wants this, but they want that because they got exposed. Not because they honestly saw a problem with themselves or they honestly see a problem with, the, with themselves. They don't and they can't do it because they're a part of this coven, this group. They have to be of the dark. Which is why when we do the cards and I pull from the Hidden Truth Oracle, that card comes out that says, I hate who I really am from you because this person is of the dark. They presented themselves to be of the light because they wanted to be in your energy. Then they became a, a jealous of you that you walk in this energy, that you're so strong after trying to attack you and break you down and make you into a karmic or make you into somebody that they can you know, dilly dob and treat any kind of way, have you up and down, especially emotionally, like they do these karmics. But these karmics, they're used to this. They don't have a problem with that. Keep that in mind as well, too. They don't have a problem with being a secret. They don't have a problem with being extremely submissive and um, letting a man or anybody control them mentally, their puppets. They don't have a problem with, with this. They're sign they sign their life away, and this is what they choose to do. But they envy you because you, you're, you're not doing that and you know how to stand alone as well. They, they have to click up and group up. But yeah, um, this person, give me one more here. Second. Yeah, seven of swords. And we have the king of pentacles in the reverse. Like I said, this person cannot change. They want to. They want to. They want to grow. They want to give you what you deserve. They know that you deserve better. They know that you know you deserve better. They want to take the knobs out of your back. They want to take back all the betrayals and everything because maybe because they're going through karma, maybe because they started something that they know they can't finish. They came up against somebody they know they shouldn't have came up against. But at the same time, this person still is trying to actively steal from you and they're the king of pentacles in the reverse because they're under someone else's control with this strength card. They have click. They're in a click. They're in a group. They cannot change officially they cannot move away from this dark energy from these karmics it is something that they cannot do so this is kind of like a never-ending cycle page of pentacles in the reverse watch this here from my collector Page of Pentacles in the reverse I don't want you to feel like also collective, like, oh, I read books and I do this so I stand out. You do not stand out. These are karmics. I don't care if you go read 50 books and the karmics only only sat around their um, altar and did magic on you all day. This karmic masculine is still going to look at the karmics like you did something constructive today and look at you like you didn't do anything constructive today because they are karmics. You, so nothing, none of that shit stands out. These people are of the dark. Page of Pentacles reverse. Why is this way? We have the moon. So yeah, secrets. A lot of secrets here with this um, money involving some money. Somebody losing money. Somebody could have lost a job in the past. 
because of some secrets or they're going to lose a job because of some secrets. We got the four of cups in reverse. Yeah, because they breadcrumbed you. They were reckless. They were they were they were in this constant energy of being the king of cups in reverse someone that does not like they're selfish with their emotions with you. Um they're they're very unfaithful. They're very immature and they are being watched to make sure that they are doing just that because they are in a group. They have no choice to do this. Okay, this person is definitely being held back, held down with the hangman upright. This person could be a Pisces that is um holding this person down, keeping them stuck. They have no choice. Two cards of Pisces with the hangman and the moon. Clarify the page of wands upright. Why is this energy here for Page of wands upright. We have the emperor. So they're being stopped right now to make sure that they're not, they didn't make a decision, yeah, they didn't make a decision to be the emperor upright as well. They're being, they, these karmics, they monitor this person. They're, they, they, they really do energetically monitor this person. They're monitoring spirits, okay? They really do follow this person around to make sure that they're doing as they are told. This person wants to sail away. A part of them wants to sail away. Is what I feel like, but they're they can't. They know they can't. We have the tower reverse with the justice and with justice in the reverse and three of pentacles in the reverse. So these karmics are suffering from some type of tower moment right now. And they they could be arguing and fighting. I feel like the tower moment could possibly be this masculine trying to make a decision to sail away. This person could have told told them like, "Hey, I'm about, I'm about to this. This is what I want to do. I want to be the emperor upright." Even though we we all know it's for the wrong reasons, I feel like this person likes to, um, I'm gonna do this right now, and then I'm gonna make y'all feel some type of way because they feed off of that negative shit. This sickening, and then I'm gonna go over here and do this to divine feminine to make divine feminine feel some type of way. They feed off of that. It's it's it's. I feel like that's that's what this is. So now they have the karmic stalking and watching and monitoring them. And um, it caused a tower moment for the karmics. They feel like this is an injustice. They don't want this person to ascend or grow. So now they're arguing. Everybody's arguing and fighting right now. But, but because of that, yeah, these karmics, they're um, basically distorted, like emotionally unbalanced right now, just losing their shit. Because this person lied. I feel like it's a lie and told them. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm doing this right now, so can't talk to you. You know, some childish shit like that. Could I find the two of cups crossing spirit? I like this here. We have the nine of pentacles that fell out. So um these comments could feel like if you're so happy being emotion um, uh, um um single and you're so well off being single. Why do you need to have this divine masculine? Why would you need to have any person? Why is this person so determined to be with someone? Um, they should sacrifice this family situation that they have with you because you're you're the nine of pentacles upright. You don't. I said this before in a reading. They feel like you don't need this this person, and they're trying to get this person to see this. Yeah, look, we got the queen of swords. Some some older energy is trying to. Talk this talk to this is the truth, and you know, you, this person don't need you because they they good by themselves. They're they're but they're strong enough on their own, and you have these karmics out here that's not. So choose one of them. Somebody mom could be trying to set them up or or get them to view karmics as empresses and real divine empresses as karmics. So I find the magician upright. We have the seven of pentacles here. This person was raised by a karmic, I feel like as well, too, or raised to view people who are not willing to run them down, chase after them, hide their car keys, and um, jump in front of a moving bullet for them or car. Do you, you know, do wild things, make everything big and emotional when they don't come home or act out. Like, you know, just run them down to view women who, who are not like that as karmic. 
And the women who are doing it, they're not, they're, they're, that's not a karmic. That's who you're supposed to be with. That's who really loves you. That's what this person was raised on as this is love. With the seven of pentacles here, um, I feel like somebody's manifestations are being looked into. Somebody is also trying to stop. I feel like they're trying to stop your manifestations. Yeah, this is what this is. They don't want you to receive like knowledge. Maybe your third eye. They're trying to block your third eye, your chakras trying to figure out how they can do this this is what what is on the agenda for, as of right now for these karmics okay they want you to stay in hermit mode you coming out of hermit mode got these people feeling defeated because like i posted in my community board they tried to send you energy to make it seem like what you're doing for work especially if you're into um spirituality it's demonic oh that's bad or oh, something bad is going to come from from that if you keep doing that yeah the moon reverse uh, they want to cut clarification right there. That's clarity. They want to like fuck with your thoughts. The moon reverse. Try to attempt to do mind magic. We got a ten of pentacles. So yeah, um, secrets out about you getting this abundance or you having an abundant life. What else? And there and these karmics are in the eight of swords. They're stressed the fuck out. So that's another reason. If you walk away, they know that you're walking away, you're going to have abundance. And that bothers everybody in the situation as well, too. Okay? They want you to walk away to nothing and be nothing. That's why they keep trying to um, attack your chakras and your emotions and your confidence and do glamour magic and, and, and all that on you. Because it's like they want you to be dead. Yeah. Not a swords in the reverse. They trying to attack you. And it's specifically this queen of wands in the reverse. This Aries or this Leo. That's who wants to attack your confidence. That's, 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 that's their agenda. Specifically this person. <clears throat> Can I find this headphone up, right? I want to We have the lovers. So, yeah. What's, what's up with the lovers and the hair font? Why, why is this here? For the collective. Two of pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, so with this marriage and this soulmate energy, they, they want this person to juggle you. They do not want this person to do nothing else but juggle you. All right, they try to do magic or send some type of magic towards your home. That has failed or it wore off. I also feel like if they trying to fuck with your future, like who you get within the future, we have 11-11. You are destined to live a good life. You are destined to have... A happy home, a happy marriage, a happy life. You're destined for this. This is what God wants you to have. This is an omen over your life, which is why they cannot fuck with it. Six of Wands reverse. That's failure. The star reverse. That's magic wearing off. I also feel like these karmics are getting weak when it comes to doing this magic and trying to get your life, your finances, your relationships to be unbalanced. Yeah, this mind magic that they tried, child police. Eight of Swords upright. So we have the um, the hair font reverse with three of wands upright. I mean, three of wands reverse, hair font reverse. Give me one more. Yeah, queen of wands reverse. This queen of wands reverse is very stressed out. Like this, this person is very stressed out. They're in the, the, the nine of wands. No, I'm sorry. They're stressing a masculine out. This masculine is in the nine of wands reverse when it comes to this queen of wands reverse because this person is frustrated that this marriage is still here. Like, I feel like somebody is like, it's, it's been a long time that you've been married to this person. Like, so you like, when is this shit going to be over? Like somebody is losing sleep and broken because a marriage is still upright. It's still here. Like they still married. Like what the fuck? Like, I feel like somebody is literally like on somebody's back. Because they're frustrated and stressed out and losing sleep. So they're stressing this masculine out because they keep trying to figure out, like, what is going on? Why haven't, yeah, why haven't you ghosted this, this connection yet, Eight of Cups? Why haven't you ran off from this person yet? Why are you still married to this person? Queen of Wands reverse. Look, Nine of Swords reverse. Nine of Pentacles reverse. This person thought that they had this masculine under some type of illusion. They possibly did. I know that they have this person in this energy where they are unloyal and unfaithful. 
with quick communication. They have this person in this energy, but this person, they're in the energy, but they're not like, they could be even having sex with this person, but they're not under an illusion anymore. It's not an illusion. This master know what he's doing. He, he, you know, and he's fucking this queen of wands in the reverse or they're communicating. There's a lot of, it's sexual as well too. You know, if it's not actual sex, but it's not an illusion. No, it's not a secret. It's not something that you ain't got to woo me to do this. Like this person is more than willing to do this with this person. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're allowing themselves to be held back by this queen of wands in the reverse. This queen of wands in the reverse is also slandering and gossiping with you. That's could be that could be what they're talk they're they're talking about right now. Like they this person likes to talk about you and slander you. They um they also tell a lot of this is a big ass liar. This queen of swords energy, big liar. The world reverse. Why is this here for my collective spirit team? Yeah, we have the seven of cups reverse with judgment reverse so um nine of wands reverse yeah these karmics really thought that they could uh close out a cycle here but with clarity coming out and the nine of wands in the reverse cycles are going to close out within the these these people and that mind magic did not work as well that's our judgment Five of Pentacles in the reverse. So divine step then your your stability and your emotions are protected at this time. With divine interference. Judgment. Clarify okay, the seven of pentacles upright. Why is this here for my collective spirit team? Why is this here? The word reverse with the sun reverse. So yeah. The cycle is still open. Somebody is trying to figure out, like, I feel like this has something to do with this marriage, this, this marriage energy. Like, why is this shit still here? Somebody is really trying to figure that out. We have our angels or some type of authority that's here. The divine is controlling the situation, that's for sure. I can't say that enough. This situation is being divinely guided. Whatever is happening and how it is happening is supposed to happen this way. Um, I do I do want you guys to understand that none of these karmics in this situation, including this divine masculine, are learning any lessons. They're not going to learn any lessons this lifetime, which is why they're going to live a hard life. They're not changing this lifestyle, this lifetime, this lifestyle, none of that. Eight of swords upright. I just heard young thug lifestyle as well. So this masculine could be on a down low. There is a lot or they engage with someone, a male before sexually in some shape, shape, way or shape or form. Because, you know, they say young thug is a little on the other side. There has been no real confirmation to my knowledge, but I'm just going based off the energy. And um, that could be another thing why this person like hid who they really were from you as well, too. This person is always in heavy sexual energy, which is why Kali, the, the goddess Kali Ma has shown up in the energy now because they, she, she mostly shows up when it's chaos and when it's sexual. There's this, it's these comics that they just, they're always in sexual energy, especially the queen of wands in the reverse. This person is very loose with their sexual energy. This is a big whore. Anyway. These people are false practitioners and they're false people. Eight of Swords upright. Yeah, they're trying to keep this masculine under under wraps, under control, under this illusion when it comes to who he's gonna be giving this ace of cups to. I feel like um away from you guys, like this person probably is not really giving these karmics any ace of cups um as well, too. Or whatever they thought they were getting, they they if they're not getting it, it's because this person is a narcissist and they, they, they don't, you know, they just want their, you know, narcissists are. They want you to fulfill them and refill them all the time. They don't know how to give anything back. Um, not, and if they do, just know it came with strings attached. Just know they're going to find a way to take it right back. But away from that, 
with this um eight of swords energy and the ace of cups i feel like they don't want you to get this at all so if they did get it and they're no longer getting it you can't get it at all at all at all and they're willing to do whatever to make sure you get it at all you don't get it no yeah we got the knight of cups in the reverse they want this person to just stay in this energy towards you where they manipulate you and gaslight you and that's all you get that's all you deserve Clarify the strength with the four of wands. How is this person? Yeah, we got the chariot reversed. These comments are not respecting any boundaries at this time. Okay. They I feel like also with this um this strength in the in, in the um four of wands reverse, they're trying to get inside of your home. They want to get inside of your home with the chariot in the reverse forcing their way in. They want to, they're trying to control this person to the point where this person allows this to happen. Yeah, we have, we got the four swords upright. They want them to consider this. That's on the agenda as of right now, guys. They trying to get control this person's mind to the point where they, this person be like, yeah, come on in here. Come on. It's my house. You know, it's, you know, it's, it's me. Yeah, this is my shit. So that this, and then at the end of the day, what's going to happen? You or this person are going to ghost each other forever. So these comments, they know what they're doing. They're not all that dumb. You know? They thrive in, and, and they're dominating their low vibrational energy. You have to give them that. Okay, so um, let's get the outcome here. First, let me pull up from my deck. Because I'm already... Some time over. Like, what's the messages? Somebody with the initial O can be significant. Control and emotional control, but it came out in the reverse. So maybe some emotional control over this person is not working anymore. Like I said, somebody could be trying to let someone know, like, you ain't got to try to woo me. Like, I'm, I'm okay with doing this. Secrets out. Somebody could be 33. June is significant. And the initial E is significant. First, middle, or last. E O or O E as well. Q first, middle, or last two and shapeshifter. Okay, so this masculine wants to have more than one person with this number two here, or something significant about the month of February. Yeah, counterpart soulmate. This person wants to have more than one person. They don't want to be with just one person, but they'll never admit this. The initial V is significant first, middle, or last. Last e evil spirits eleven, eleven divinely guided. Okay. I feel like that's connected. We have 25. That evil spirits card is connected to um this these karmics. They like to, like I said, they like to monitor this masculine. Capricorn can be involved. This Capricorn can be in bad health because of lies. You see how the cards fell out. Bad health and my debt can mean your mental, your stomach hurting. Okay. So something significant about the month of July as well, divine masculine and spiritual protection. Maybe this person wants some spiritual help. Don't know why. Maybe they're being granted some spiritual help. Yeah, we have our angels could be trying to or guiding this person. Because just like how these monitoring spirits guide this person they don't understand that this person that somebody else can guide this person as well too somebody something about an eviction aquarius sex addiction and abortion this masculine definitely has a sex addiction okay definitely these karmics could have suffered an abortion or they want you to suffer an abortion or they wanted you to have one a can be significant first middle or last an issue that wanted you to have an abortion we have a fucus the initial Z, a Leo, no loyalty. There's a Leo that has no loyalty. Okay, a Scorpio, a Sagittarius. The initial T is significant. August is significant. Somebody who needs to have respect. K is significant, first, middle, or last. And, and compulsive liar. Whoever has an initial K, first, middle, or last initial, this person is a compulsive liar. They're a karmic. Okay? Okay. Let me a few more here. They're projecting energy as well. And Aries is projecting energy. Okay. On somebody that's 27. Or this Aries could be 27. Um, something to do with a cancer. And the initial B is significant. First, middle, or last. 
a Gemini, the initial D, not the father, a Taurus, the initial C. So there's a Gemini that could be trying to convince someone that they're not the father of someone's child, or this is happening to you, Gemini. Apply the rose, how they fit, take it, resonate, leave what doesn't. Okay, somebody has Taurus in their chart, or they are a Taurus. But at the bottom of my deck, I have R. So yeah, let's get the outcome of this situation before we close this reading out. What's the outcome for the team? For my collective? What is the outcome? We have the five of swords upright. Yeah, so you're surrounded by a lot of people who envy you, okay? I feel like this is gang stalking energy with this five of swords coming out as well. A lot of people are going to try to gang stalk you, but it's not going to work. Eight of Pentacles reverse, but they're going to attempt to do this. You know, karmics, they don't do anything new. They can't, they don't know how to come up with anything new, which is why they click up. Because it's like, do you got something today? Do you got something today? You know, uh, a lot is being exposed with the sun here that they're trying to keep hidden, but that's not working either. With the ace of wands in the reverse, what else is his first one? Yeah, will of fortune in the reverse, eight of cups. So, um, the table's turned on these karmics, but they're still not backing down. They're going to try again, but we all do that. They're, they're, too, they're too invested. They're too obsessed. They're too jealous. They're too envious. They can't walk away. They have no choice but to do this for the rest of their days. They have to involve their life around your life as well, too. They got to make sure the work schedule is good enough to come back home and do a little bit of magic. They got to make sure they can get a little bit of sleep, you know, like that. That's what I mean. Page of Cups reverse, Five of Wands reverse. So they're at peace with coming in and being sexually um, 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 sexually promiscuous towards your masculine, even if the three of cups is in the reverse, even if this person is like, you know what they do to them sometimes, you know, I give you right now, then right now I'm doing it to you, you know, that two-faced back and forth energy, they're okay with it, um, they're at peace with it, they feel like it's causing you some type of bad memories, Four of Cups reverse with the star reverse. I feel like some magic is wearing off. Or um, these comments are getting weak. Page of Cups, Seven of Wands upright. They're also pissed off at this masculine. Oh, yeah, so that's what it is. This masculine at this time could be like in some of that, you know, I'm going to do it right now. Energy. Because with the Four of Cups coming out in the reverse, um... The magic could be wearing off of this person that they like to come in and throw on this person. And because they're karmic, it works every time. Because they have not healed, it's it's going to work. Especially on somebody that's not healed, okay? They got to put in a lot more work with somebody that is healed, that knows themselves, that is in full control of themselves and their emotions. Um, So, yeah, they're pissed off because the magic is wearing off and because this person is still holding on. And they still view you as their soulmate, counterpart. And it's like, they want to argue and fight with this person about that. Maybe this person is not giving them the gossip that they want at this time as well, too. But don't get it confused. This person is still the emperor in the reverse. That has not changed. This person is still reckless. They're still doing things with these karmics to, uh, to have negative connotations. This is the most negative card in my deck, the full reverse. This person is very, very, very low vibrational. They're corrupt, all right? Um, but they present themselves to be the Knight of Pentacles upright, someone loyal and faithful and devoted, someone that does not play the field. Um, and, and this is also something that light is being shown on. This is an African-American man we're talking about, possibly 20s to 30s years of age. Yeah, that's how they present themselves to you. But really, they any chance... And any time they get, they sacrifice this family situation and their Ten of Cups, they throw it away. So that was the reading, guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Thank you all so much for the love and support. Any of my Sagittarius collective here, gang, gang, I will be coming back on a little later to do a Sagittarius reading for you all. All right? So make sure you guys take care of yourselves and...
Until next time, bye-bye.